today we will perform one of the experiment of biochemistry. Our experiment is isolation of amylose and amylopectin from starch. Starch is the polymer of glucose that is mainly found in plants and is used as a source of energy by human beings. Starch is mainly composed of two main polymers. One is amylose that is an uh, unbranched polymer and other one is amylopectin that is a branched polymer. Both of these polymers make up the starch and that is mainly found in potatoes. So we will perform our experiment by using the potato as an ingredient of starch. First of all, we will see what we need in this experiment. Uh, we will talk about the materials that we need to do uh, this experiment. First of all, we will need potato from where we will uh, extract starch. Then we will need a knife to peel off the potato and to cut it into a small pieces. We will need mortal pistol, blue capped centrifuge tubes, iodine solution, 20 millimole sodium phosphate buffer, funnel to transfer our material into these blue cap tubes. We will need appendops. The capacity of this appendop is 1.5 ml. Vortex, centrifuge machine, syringe filters, syringe. We will use Morton pistol. To start our experiment, first of all, we will peel off potato and we will cut it into a very small pieces. So I will peel off the potato. After cutting the potato into the small pieces, we will beat these pieces with the help of pistol. When we will beat these potato pieces, we are actually extracting the starch. The purpose to beat these pieces is to extract the starch so that we can isolate amylose and amylopectin, the major polymer of the starch. We will make a very thin paste. Now we will add 20 millimole sodium phosphate buffer in this paste to extract starch more effectively. We will add this buffer until the paste is completely dipped into the buffer. First of all, I will add a very small quantity. Then I will mix it. We will make slurry like this. Then we will transfer it into the centrifuge tube, blue capped centrifuge tube. And uh, after this step, we will vortex this slurry. I will transfer this solution into this tube with the help of funnel. We will take uh, two centrifuge tubes to transfer the solution. A little bit portion of starch may be remaining in the funnel but that's okay we can transfer as much as we can into this centrifuge tube after uh, transfer the solution into the centrifuge tube we will vortex uh, this solution with the help of vortex mixer Similarly, I will vortex the other centrifuge tube. After doing vortex, we will turn off the vortex 
and uh, we'll go to the next step that is the filtration of this solution uh, to do the filtration we will use syringe filter we will fix it into the syringe we will remove the needle and fix our filter into the syringe broad portion of filter into this range we will transfer our solution into this range We will shift it into the append off. After filtration uh, of slurry, we will perform the centrifugation of this filtrate to extract the amylose and amylopectin from starch. Uh, we have transferred uh, our filtrate into the four centrifuge tubes. Now I will shift it into the centrifuge machine. First of all, we will set our centrifuge machine on our desired RPM time and temperature. Uh, for this experiment, we need 12,000 RPM, 4 degree temperature and five minutes. Now I will put these apple dogs into the centrifuge machine. I will open the lid. We will transfer our apple dogs into the centrifuge machine. Now we will close the lid. Then cap of centrifuge machine. After adjusting our appendix into the centrifuge machine, now we will start the centrifugation. and we'll wait for five minutes. After completion of centrifugation, we will take out the appendix. After centrifugation, we will see the supernatant and the pellet. Supernatant is the amylose and in the pellet is the amylopectin. Now we will perform detection test for amylose by using iodine solution and for amylopectin there is another detailed procedure for the purification of amylopectin so you can purify amylopectin and then can perform the detection tests uh, using iodine solution now i will perform detection test of amylose by using iodine i will separate the supernatant uh, in another tube Now I will take the iodine solution. 
with the help of dropper i will use one to two drop of iodine i will put it uh, for one minute to see the results now we can see the results uh, if uh, there is a result of dark blue color this indicates that there is the presence of amylose and if it's uh, orange red color this indicates the presence of amylose uh, amylopectin here we can see the dark blue color that shows that in the supernatant amylose is present this is all about uh, of our two days practical that is the isolation of amylose and amylopectin from starch uh, we have used potato to isolate starch then we have isolated amylose and amylopectin from the extracted star, uh, starch from potato uh, now you can perform the experiment uh, by yourself and can see the results and uh, the presence of amylose and amylopectin thank you good luck for your experiment